Okay, hello everyone. In a new video, in this one, we are going to solve an exercise related to mechanics in the chapter of pressure and liquids. This exercise was the previous one in the previous exams in 2019, first session, exercise number four. The title of this exercise is Pressure Sensor. A pressure sensor is placed at a point M of depth H in a lake of fresh water, document four. So they mentioned this document, now we can use it. So this is the container containing fresh water. So H is the depth at which the point M is located inside the fresh water. We denote by P the total pressure at, at M. So P here represents the total pressure at point M. So knowing that M is being exerted or submitted to two pressures. Uh, so the pressure of this water, fresh water, and the atmospheric pressure. A convenient apparatus connected to the sensor uh, allows plotting the variation of P as function of H, document 5. So also they mentioned document 5, so now we are allowed to use it. So this document shows this curve, which is the variation of the pressure as function of H. So the pressure, what does P represent? It's the total pressure uh, at any point. As function of the depth H, so the pressure expressed in Pascal, which is the SI, and the depth H is expressed in meters in the SI. So number one, copy and complete, referring to the graph of document five, the following table. So this table consists of one, two, three, four, five, five columns. Let's first copy the table. So the first column is given by H in meter and the pressure, the total pressure at any point in Pascal. So the given values are given by zero here, two times 10 to the power five, 30, and six times 10 to the power five. Now let, let's complete this table by another color, say for example, blue. Now in the second column, we have the value of H given by zero. So notice that all of these numbers doesn't include any unit because the unit is included already in the first column. So for H is equal to zero, now referring to this, graph this is the value of h is equal to zero now going to the curve this is the curve it corresponds to a value of 10 to the power 5 so the value of the pressure in pascal is given by 10 to the power 5 notice that the unit the units of these axes are in agreement with the table now when the pressure is given by 2 times 10 to the power 5 pascal it corresponds to this value on the curve corresponding to the depth or height given by 10 meters now, when the depth or the height is given by 30 meter, so th this is the value of 30 meter corresponding to this point on the curve, having a value of four times 10 to the power five. And when the pressure is given by six times 10 to the power five Pascal, so this is the value of six times 10 to the power five Pascal. Let's locate this point on the curve. so. It corresponds to this point on the curve having a value of h is equal to 50 meters so this is it for part one now in number two how does p vary when h increases so by vary it means that we need to state whether it increases or decreases so the word vary means changes, and this can be determined by referring either to the table or to the graph, but let's refer to the graph or to the curve. So they are telling, they are telling us when, when H increases. So let's say that as H increases as a title. So these are the values of H given by zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. They are telling us when H increases. So these are the values of H and this is the increasing sense from left to right. 
Now we must read the graph in this way, the curve from left to right, because these are the increasing numbers or values of h. Now, as we can see, moving from left to right, the value of p, the total pressure, incre increases. So let's say as h increases, the value of p. What does p represent? It is the total pressure at any point in time. The value of p increases. And this is true because when I, we know that whenever we increase the depth increases, the value of the pressure increases. And now number three, we denote by p0 the value of p for h is equal to zero. What does p0 represent? So p0 is the value of p for h is equal to zero. Now let's locate the point m when the depth h is given by zero. Recall that p represents the total pressure. Now when h is equal to zero, this is the value of h, which is the depth at which the point m is located. When h is given by zero, it means that the, the point m is located at the free surface of water. So p0 represents the value of the total pressure at the point m. So what, uh, m is submitted to which pressure? Nothing found is found above m, so m is submitted to the atmospheric pressure. So in this case, p0 represents the atmospheric pressure. Now in number four, for a depth h1, the sensor reads p1 is equal to five times 10 to the power five Pascal. So here we have, a, we have a sensor when the sensor is placed at the depth h1. So let's say that this is the depth h1. So the pressure at the point P at this point M is given by P1. The value of P1 is given by five times 10 to the power five Pascal. And 4.1, the sensor has a surface area uh, S is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter square. So knowing that centimeter square is not the assignment of area, in order to convert from centimeter square to meter square, we simply multiply by 10 to the power minus four. Then 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4. Plugging this on the calculator, then the surface area in this case is given by 5 times 10 to the power minus 5 meters square. Now we're fo in 4.1, they are telling me calculate at this depth the value F of the pressing force exerted on the sensor. So we need to calculate the value of F. What does F represent? The pressing force. So F is the magnitude of the pressing force, F vector. Uh, at this depth. So we know that the pressure and the surface area and the force are related via the following formula that the pressure is equal to the force divided by the surface area which is denoted which is given by us knowing that we are interested in calculating F. So constructing the triangle of this formula here because we have divide and P will be at the bottom F at the top as here. So knowing that we are interested in determining the value of F so putting our hand over F then the value of F, which is denoted by F, is equal to the value of, uh, so P multiplied by S, P is denoted by P1, and the surface area is denoted by S. Now the value of P1 is given by 5 times 10 to the power 5, and the value of S and S is given by 5 times 10 to the power minus 5. Now plugging this on the calculator, then the value of F is given by 25. Since both P1 and S are expressed in the SI, so the value of F will be expressed in the SI, which is in Newtons. Then the magnitude of the pressing force exerted at this point corresponding for the depth H1 having a pressure P1 and the surface area S is equal to 0 0.5 centimeters square is given by 25 in Newtons. Now let me make some space here. Now finally in part 4.2, the sensor is placed at another point at the same depth h1. So what does this mean? Now previously the sensor is being placed here. 
So this is the position, the first posi position of the sensor. Now they are telling me that the sensor, the sensor is placed at another point at the same, uh, the same depth each one. So we have moved the sensor from this point to another point here, say for example, such that these two points corresponds for the same depths depth so this is the new po position say for example of the sensor having the depth the same depth h1 now they are telling us does the value of f vary justify so does the magnitude or the value f of the pressing force changes knowing that the pressure is given by force divided by the surface area s so in other words the value of f if you construct the triangle is given by p multiplied by s so previously the sensor was placed at this point, now the sensor is moved from this point to that point. But notice that for the new position of the sensor, it is being located at the same depth. So knowing that these two points are in the same liquid, so we are using the rule of three. So same liquid. And for sure this is at equilibrium. and same level same horizontal level why the same horizontal level because they told me the same depth so using the rule of three because they are located in the same liquid at equilibrium the same horizontal level so the value of the pressure at this point is given by uh, the same pressure of this point which is given by p1 so the value of the pressure at this point is given by p1 so recall that f is equal to p multiplied by s. So they are asking me whether f is changed or no. So knowing that p remained the same, and the value of the surface area of the sensor didn't change because simply we didn't change the sensor. So the value of p didn't change and the value of s didn't, didn't change. Therefore, the value of f will not change. So hereby does the value of f vary. Vary means changes. And for sure by changes, it means increases or decreases. And because the value of the pressure remained the same, and we didn't change the sensor, therefore, the value of f will not change. So let's say, since the other point is in the same liquid, at equilibrium, and in the same horizontal level then the value of the pressure is the same Uh, which means the, the value of the pressing force uh, remains unchanged. And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in a new one.